Sonic Skippy for the sub. Thanks so much, guys. Be sure to support 2GG in all their endeavors. Any sub helps. Even you guys just watching and tuning into the stream, listening to us commentate, watching these matches. Yeah. Go down. It means so much to us. Keeps but the lights on. Keeps the mics running. Yeah, but here we go. K9. Got a lot of momentum from that last match, and he's got to fight Sweetie immediately. And what are they doing? Just standing there. The, the Mexican standoff, dude. <laughs> yeah. it's, the, yeah. <laughs> it's over, Anakin. I have the high ground. <laughs> I have the high ground, <laughs> right? That's why we saw Sweetie on the platform. He was like, <laughs> it's like you yeah. underestimate my power. <laughs> I just beat Master Mario. <laughs> Alrighty. This is a much slower game than before. Not as many empty hops. I feel like can I really respecting the Squirtle. Maybe waiting for the Ivy Sword to come out before he tries to go for something crazy. All right, well, immediately K9 just kind of waits for to see how Sweet T was going to land. He immediately gets those forward airs. All right, greetings back to Squirtle immediately. I feel like he knew that K9 was respecting that one especially. But here we go. Is that up tilt? Not getting anything else done. Nice. Moving in with a double down tilt there, and K9 goes for the down. I'm sorry. Goes for the neutral end to the grab. And again, looking for spacing here. And that's kind of one of the things I respect from K9, especially with how you saw it against Master Mario as well. You kind of want to respect Ivysaur spacing as well, especially with the Vine Whip, the Razor Leaf, the Back Airs. He's got a lot of disjoints, so if you're able to space him out and get a good whiff punish here, it's going to count for a lot. I'll be over the laser. I mean, for how slow the beginning of that game was, all of a sudden both these players are at 90%. Yeah. I feel like they just explode on each other on their combos and then come back to neutral where they wait for their opponent to try and make a mistake. Just like that, then up smash again, not quite connecting right outside of the scoop up range. And that Nair's gonna connect, get that fair, put him off stage one more time. Condition with the Razor Leaves. Is he gonna get that there? He does not, the Wolf Flash puts him on the other side. Yeah, that's kind of one of those things you have to be careful, right? Wolf Flash does not auto set the ledge, but if you're trying to edge guard, you gotta be careful because you might get sweet spotted. And again, great Nair out of shield coming out from Sweet T and sees that K9 trying to go for a landing neutral air. Back throw, that'll take the stock. Sweet T with first blood in his hands. Yeah, that was difficult to do. He had to guess that he was going to roll, and then knowing that the flamethrower would not be able to cover that, release it early and then get that back throw with that turnaround. I'm telling you, man, you got to go for those unorthodox options. And at that situation, he saw that Sweet T was going to go for a rollback. He was in the defensive stance at that situation, right? He was looking to survive. Charizard's not the best of the Pokemon trio. Okay, that might have been a bait to try and get him to come in and approach him yeah, with man, something. He's trying to edge guard. He's trying to edge guard the ghost of Pokemon Stadium too. That's what he was trying to do at that point. Yeah. All right, the back air chase. Oh, into the parry. Sweet T doing that a lot more, especially during the rec set. We'll have to see. Okay, the reflector not quite getting the right angle to reflect on the. I'm, I'm so sorry, man. I love the patience from K9 because he actually stood there waiting for him to make the change. He kind of saw what that gameplay was going for from Sweet T. I mean, when you're fighting a character like this, that's another option you gotta keep in mind. If you know your combo's not true, then wait for the defensive option, and one of them will be the Pokemon Switch eventually. All right, the Dare Pressure decides to catch K9 on the bait, and then Force Smash not quite gonna connect, but K9 not quite getting the spacing either. Okay, good patient from K9, and that's kind of one of the things he has to change his game plan and get Sweet Tea between Master Mario. Gets hit by the neutral air, and I like that K9 doesn't understand. Hey, I'm off the stage. Let me lose my stuck. Let's come back here and get this grab and reset the edge guard phase in my favor. All right, gets that grab. Up throw this time around. And it's just so difficult to try and ta challenge Ivysaur. He has that vine whip that he can continuously use to defend himself. He's got the razor leaves to stuff your aerial approach, Ooh. and then he can potentially reversal you with a dare if he's feeling very willing. So it makes him very hesitant to go for these edge guards and to try and intercept them in the air. He's very hesitant about it, but oh. finally gonna go for that up air, waiting for the exact moment where he knew a jump up air would be so quick that he could not get anything out of time. Yeah, and immediately Sweet T switching out to Squirtle. Of course, Squirtle is the DPS character of the trio here, he able to get that good damage, good combo potential here. And immediately now switching out to Ivasaur. Of course, for those of you wondering, Ivasaur is more mid range here. He's got those disjoints. Yeah, it's a, it's a plant and a sword, basically. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. In my opinion, man, if you wanted to pick Corona Plant, you might as well start picking Ivysaur. That's, yeah. that's better the better the plant characters. Alright, but how does he get back? Oh, he gets the parry in, but nothing else. So trying to find his way around. Oh, Ooh. the tech chase! Oh, and he the almost smash. gets it! Uh, this game sucks when it comes to trying to tell you when someone's dead, I swear. Okay, <laughs> but there we go. It's the bamboozle, man. Oh, and the sweet spot from the Wolf Flash. Still not enough. Okay, one more time. Third time's a charm, right, guys? Yeah, now, but now see. he's got the weight buff here in the Charizard. Kind of 
K9 has to be careful here because he's going to be caught for an out of shield option from Charizard. It's going to be damage in that back air. Still has a sweet spot. Well, after he defends himself from the flamethrower, all the dash stacks, but the up smash not quite connecting, puts himself off stage with that back throw. Okay, K9 has to be careful how he lands here. That flamethrower. Looking for the cross up back air, back throw. That'll definitely do it at this situation there, especially from the outside of the ledge. Yeah. Almost looking like I was going to bamboozle both of us at that yeah. point. <laughs> like I said, man, third time's his charm is finally able to do it. And after a grueling first game, that was only the first game, man. Yeah. Can I take I it? Felt, I felt, I even felt like it was game five in that situation with the way they played. Yeah. But of course, both of these guys have a vendetta to fight against Rax. SD coming in strong, one of their finest. Here, finally, a link main in grand finals, thank God. Anyways, enough bias. It's going to game two. Um, if sweet, sweet team, I was gonna say I don't think he's gonna make a switch. If he was, Pichu would have made the call. But the thing is, Pichu is the lightest character in the game, so you can die really early. I respect the Pokemon trainer. I mean, here. Wolf is the character that Void goes to go against uh, Olimar, another small character. So I feel like it's the same like idea, like you know that fair, that up fair, that everything is just so good at catching small characters. So I feel like the Pokemon trainer is probably the better pick. Yeah. Me too. And I think Sweet Tea has beaten K9 using the Pokemon trainer. Yeah, he has before. Anything. Yeah. K9 with the landing there here. It's kind of one of those things Sweet Tea didn't have to start looking to punish. I feel like K9 is a little bit more comfortable trying to get those uh, early damage combos against Sweet Tea this time around. Gonna get that punish. Sweet Tea trying to find like a tech chase with that down smash or something. I'm not quite finding anything. Nutra, oh, and he almost gets a down smash. And really, Sweet Tea just trying to wave land there with it. Hey, maybe just trying to land with the Nutra air there. And Sweet Tea trying to go for the upper into the back air. Almost going for the forward smash. K9 with a la with the blaster in play. Alrighty, okay, there we go. Going for the neutral air. Sweet Tea now bringing Edge K9 to the edge. I'm on the platform. Sorry about that. Uh, <laughs> my cue for excitement is the man stepped on my cable. I didn't do anything. Yes, I'll, you did. I'll, I have <laughs> my, two, my two feet planted right here, man. Alrighty, but here we go. Sweet Tea off stage one more time. That was a ledge regrab for sure. K9 just taking advantage of it with the down tilt. Putting him on stage. Not gonna get that forward tilt though. He's got another chance here. So you can see he's trying to respect that sword like range with the whips, but it's not quite working out there. Sweet Tea able to get the reversal. The wolf flash again, like I said, doesn't auto the ledge, and it will pay the price there for going there for a second attempt. But I respect it because I, at that situation, can I kind of feel comfortable going for that one? Yeah. I mean, it's a good mix up if your opponent is definitely not expecting it, but I feel like in that scenario, he was at a far enough distance where it not work. Oh, just the walk up! Did you see that from Sweet Tea? He's looking very confident to try and continue this lead. Okay, K9 using that double jump to get on the platform. Sweet Tea on the Charizard. He's kind of got K9 on the ropes here. Gets a down air looking for a fall almost with a forward smash. Yo, if he didn't turn around, if he just forward smashed the other way. Yeah, he would have gotten his man. <laughs> yeah. That would have been a sick combo on him. But the Nair gonna put him off stage. Flare Blitz. Oh, and a sweet spot to ledge, actually. No time to shield it to be able to get that guaranteed punish off of it. Dark Air, K9 now, finally two for two. 67%. Sweet Tea immediately striking hard with the Squirtle into the up throw, into the up air. Sweet Tea with a lot of control here. K9 now landing. The one thing I'm looking for K9 here is he's kind of now playing a little bit slower. Just like he did game one, right? We saw that earlier. They kind of started off very slow. And he's kind of sticking to the game plan, the patience here, because he knows Squirtle's the high damage character. I have to be careful approaching Ivysaur. Back throw, that'll do it. Yep. All right, and I, not too far behind, but still, Sweetie's known to be able to steamroll his leads very easily. Yeah. But the same with K9. So let's see if he can try and bring this back around, or if Sweetie's going to steamroll. Uh, his percent, but the tech chase on that down tilt. Not gonna get anything. Oh, never oh. mind. He gets the forward smash. Kills the very light Squirtle before <laughs> the switch could come out. Yeah, man, that's kind of tough for Squirtle too in that situation. Of course, Squirtle being actually the third lightest character in the game, he will die to that one on that point of the stage. K9 now with 44% to his name, getting a great combo here. Second hit of Fortal still not connecting. I don't know what's up with that move, man. Might be a bad day for Fortal. Yeah. <laughs> yeah so, like his Feng Shui's off or something. Yeah. Like, that's the only thing I can say. All right, but here we go. Oh, the double jump to try and pressure him, but use that Nair to defend himself. And I like it too from Kanan because he tried a different approach this time against Sweet Tea, but that Nair had a lasting hitbox. One thing I do want to see also from Kanan is Tomahawk Grab. Sometimes Sweet Tea is very content to being on shield, and if he's able to go ahead and get a Tomahawk Grab, Kanan can get some good mileage, gets the back air, seeing that Sweet Tea's going to try to go for a cross up. Okay, going to get a 
him off the stage with that back throw one more time. Well, you can tell he's looking for something. Oh, the back air though. Oh, the fine whip's not going to come out, but he defends himself with a landing back air. Slowly bringing this back. The grab is not going to come out though. The fourth throw comes in. Oh, and he walks up to him, gets another back throw. <laughs> I'm telling you, man, he's showing his back to, to Sweet Tea for a good reason. That fine whip, man, he was out there reaching for victory. Oh, the parry, the, oh, the parry out the wrong way, and he gets the back air, and he gets another game off of him. That was such a smart play from Sweet Tea, but K9 with his one step ahead, and he got so lucky with that, the board, so it was the wrong way. Yo, man, I'm telling you, K9, K9's on another level, dude. I'm telling you, both of these guys got a vendetta for this Link main, and K9 wants revenge for not only Soka Chronicles, but for sending him here in the loser side. Fight Sweet Tea, RP, and of course that Pichu gonna come out. I was gonna, I was gonna say, if he doesn't win with Squirtle, I do predict that uh, at one point Sweet Tea will switch characters. Alright, well, let's go on to the next match. This could be the potential last game for Sweet Tea. Will oh, K9 able to, to take it with a 30 and a handshake? We'll see what, uh, what can happen. Really, of course, the combo combo coming out against K9, starting off really strong here. There's the classic Wolf esque bouncing fish with a down throw to dash attack. Into oh. the Very nice stuff. I, oh, and a sweet spot from the down smash coming at the ledge. Very nice stuff. Oh, and you, you can hear the oh's in the, in the crowd. <laughs> of course, this MSM with the holiday in, there is some nice spectator viewing, and so you can cheer on your favorite players here as you go too. Great it's spectator friendly. Yeah, and free water and uh, great. We have an in and out next door. Mm -hmm. uh, at Starbucks, not too far. We got uh, a bar. Yeah. So very nice stuff. Oh, but another back air that could have potentially been in. K9 barely touched on his second stock, and another forward smash. K9 sending the howls to his fellow audience members. <laughs> the audience is definitely howling for this wolf main out here. Right, here we go. K9 just with the momentum, just knows how to fight against this Pichu. Oh, and the hump to pick him up one more time. This is what I'm talking about. Just K9 and Wolf is just able to cover what space Pichu wants to be in so easily with that chic esque bear that he uh, presents himself. Yeah, back throw, nice. K9 now with edgeguard face into his hands. I like that he's trying to go off stage and he even shows his back because he was looking for a back air off the stage. Definitely would have taken care of that Pichu. So, oh, my man, you are insane to read that. <laughs> Yo, you said Sweet Tea can steamroll when he has a lead? Yeah. What was that? What, what did I just watch?